One of the most straightforward ways of getting ancient parts is to fight guardians. And the place where you're going to find the most guardians is central Hyrule because this has Hyrule Castle and this area is swamped with guardians. So what I like to do is go to central tower where it's surrounded by some really easy guardians. There's one over there. There's two that are immobilized over here. These can die with one parry. They'll drop like four or five pieces for you. There's a third one that's immobilized right over there. And I like to use these as a warm up because they're really easy, they don't chase you down, they die in one parry hit. And once you feel warmed up, good and ready, you can go make your way towards the castle where there's gonna be a lot of guardians. And I mean, a lot. And these ones are really strong. These ones are really strong and they take three to four parries to kill. Fighting these stronger guardians is worth it because they drop a lot more parts. You can also get ancient parts by searching dead guardians. They usually have one, maybe two items if you're lucky. So you can see this whole area is surrounded by guardians. There's the flying ones, the walking ones, there's a bunch of stationary ones. So you can just take your time and go fight all of these. And if you're lucky, you might even get a giant ancient core. Once you've cleared out the whole courtyard, you can make your way into Hyrule Castle, where there's even more guardians. Every one of these guardians has a chance to drop ancient cores and giant ancient cores, so it is worth fighting every single one. So you'll also encounter turrets. So if you just want to get one ancient core so you can get that one item real quick, you can get one from a chest in the labyrinth. I'll show you where to get it. Once you get to the labyrinth, make your way straight to the back, go left, and then go down this corridor here, and then take a right, and you'll see this big metal block here. You can just magnesis this block out of the way. There's going to be a chest here. and it's got your giant ancient core. So you can go and use that right away to get the thing that you need. The easiest way to guarantee yourself a giant ancient core is to save right in front of a guardian and just kill the same one over and over until he drops a giant ancient core. You can expect to find yourself doing this for a really long time before getting one. So to get this giant core, I had to kill this same guardian over and over about 25 times, which took me roughly 15 minutes with all the killing and loading. I was killing him in one shot with ancient arrows, so that did speed it up. And lastly, there's this infinite ancient parts glitch that you can do, and I'll show you how to do that right now. In the middle of Hylia River, just right of Hyrule Cathedral, there's a chest in the middle of the lake. We're gonna take this chest, then we're gonna go to this spot in Hyrule Castle, where there's a guardian that can be moved with the metal chest that we brought. When you tip this guardian over, he drops a few items for you. But with this glitch, if you take him far enough away from his spawn, he will spew items non-stop. And you can just sit there and take them for as long as you want. Mind you, this does lag your game. This is great if you just want to get a lot of basic parts, but you're not gonna get any cores or giant cores. 